Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we're talking about one of my favorite topics in the learning and development industry, and that is the Experience API. If you've spent any amount of time in the industry, then you've probably heard this term thrown around. Uh, it's known as XAPI for short, and before it was known as the Experience API, it was known as Project Tin Can or the Tin Can API. So you'll see referred to as that too. Now the big question, what is XAPI? Um, well, it's a technical specification for the learning and development industry. So it's just a technical document and it outlines how to structure, send, and retrieve learning and performance data. So what's the big deal? Well, the big deal has to do with this word on screen right now, interoperability. When all of your tools and platforms adhere to that technical XAPI specification, then they all know what to expect when it comes to the data. So, you know, your data from tool A, when it gets sent over to tool B, tool B already knows what to expect and how to work with it. So um, it makes your tools and platforms play together very nicely. And it also makes it easier on the analysts because when a human com comes in to analyze that data, they already know how it's structured, they know what to expect, and they can work with it much more easily than if they had to piece together uh, data from all these different tools that weren't already adhering to the XAPI. The other big benefit is that you can track learning wherever it occurs. You're not limited anymore to just getting data from SCORM packages that are uploaded to a learning management system. With XAPI, you can track learning that happens on websites, on mobile applications, e-learning courses, software simulations, flight simulations. You can even get XAPI data from actual machines like forklifts or planes. Um, and you can get XAPI data from face-to-face -face sessions too. So, you know, obviously we know learning doesn't just happen in, in an LMS and XAPI is what lets us track all of that learning outside of the LMS. Another cool part about XAPI is that it lets you get really granular data. So, you know, when you upload an e-learning course and you track it with SCORM, you can see who started the course, who completed it, and maybe what score they got along the way. Well, with XAPI, you can get all of that data and you can see exactly which resources users are viewing. You can see how long they're spending on each slide, each question, and each resource. You can see exactly which responses they're selecting for each question and which responses they're entering. For example, in, a, in an open text response, you can see what users are typing in. Um, you can see when they're going to a different, different uh, tab in their browser. So you know that maybe they're accessing another resource or you know maybe just getting distracted from the course. You can see and collect so much data with XAPI, um, you know, if, if it's, any kind of human behavior in an e-learning course, you can track. So go ahead and drop a comment if you're curious about what's possible, and I'll let you know if, if your idea is possible or not, and it probably is. So, XAPI data exists in the form of XAPI statements. You might have seen that thrown around as well. Uh, in its most simple form, an XAPI statement follows the actor, verb, object format. So almost like a basic sentence. So Devlin ran a mile, or Devlin watched the XAPI 101 video, or even Devlin ate a sandwich, actor, verb, object. If it follows that format, you can create an XAPI statement from it. And when you look at the XAPI statement itself, it will look pretty similar to um, just a basic human sentence. Uh, and this data gets sent to the learning record store, and that's where you can view this stream of statements in this really human readable format. Um, the, the XAPI statements themselves, they're, they're a bit more technical. I'll dive into that in a later video, but um, when you're viewing the data in an LRS, it is in this e really easy to read uh, sentence-like format. Now the big question is, what can you do with XAPI? So there's a lot. Um, I guess the simplest thing you can do is you can look at all of your learning data and see where people are having trouble or issues. You know, maybe they're dropping out of your course on a specific slide. You can use 
X API data to, to shine a spotlight on those issues and then go ahead and improve your offerings based on that data. Uh, you can also combine learning and performance data and you can see which of your learning resources are contributing the most to improved performance and you can see you know which of your learning programs aren't helping people perform better and using that information you can uh, better identify what to focus on and how to improve human performance most efficiently based off of the learning programs you have available. Um, you can also create adaptive learning programs or adaptive e-learning courses where when a user goes into your course, you can look at all of their previous XAPI data and automatically change the course based off of that. So if they always answer questions wrong about a certain topic, you can actually show additional guidance or, or additional content about that topic uh, because it seems that they would need a little bit of extra help. And similarly, you can actually recommend courses based off of their previous performance and learning data. So again, just drop a comment if you have a question about what's possible with XAPI and I'll, I'll respond and let you know. So if you are interested about learning more and maybe even implementing XAPI for yourself to collect learning data, uh, the first thing I would recommend you do is go ahead and subscribe because there is a lot more good XAPI content coming on this channel. Uh, I also am doing a live stream every week to help people with the technical aspect of XAPI. So I'll drop that link in the description. And I do have a really thorough, really long XAPI and learning record store article. So um, if, if you prefer reading or you wanna dive deep, um, definitely check out that article. Again, the link will be in the description. Drop a comment with any questions and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.